don't believe, even these Christians really don't believe the most I created the earth according to what the scriptures say. They don't really believe that. It's only really given unto the elect to believe that. In truth, that the Most High is the Creator. He is the higher power, man. These people don't believe just like him. You know why he won't believe? Because he wasn't there. Really, ultimately, it's because the Most High has blinded him so he could receive judgment. So that he don't he don't adhere to the words of these scriptures. He ain't nothing big deal about it, man. But you see, you get a guy that will get all messed up in the spirit by a score for the nap. But you know what? If you get messed up by all these people, then guess what? Yeah. Yeah. But there's guys that's falling out of the truth from scoffers just coming on the comic board consistently spraying the same bullshit over and over again and what it is is they got weak minds and they don't want to stand for what they believe in you know if enough people come up against their belief they get uncomfortable and then regardless of whether it's the truth or not and that's why the scripture says uh, 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 follow not a multitude to do evil most people are bandwagoners. They'll only do something if there's enough people there around them backing it up to make them feel comfortable, to pat them on the back, you know, give them a, give them a hug. Mm. Hey, when you're in this truth, you find out you're the super minority on this planet. You go to work and everybody's fucking against you. You can't even speak your mind at work. You gotta hold it down. Now, anyone else, if you're a Muslim, Christian, whatever you are, you can go anywhere and find people that are like-minded. Hey, when you're in this truth, <laughs> you might find a guy that might agree with a couple points, but they don't believe in what you really believe in. That's why a lot of these niggas go to, when they go to prison, why do you think they join Islam? Because it's a gang. They feel comfortable. Yeah, Aki. What, they, what, they went to prison and found God. Them niggas coming out, sh shooting up, you know, selling. Being a better criminal than they were in the first place. Hey, even Stars P said that in one of his tracks. He said they pray to Allah, but they still move them hair on bundles. <laughs> okay, that was a hard bar. It's true. Just like you get niggas that believe they're Christians, but they're still doing wickedness. It's just a gang. Going to prison, they're like, fuck. Like, raw, like, how do I get some protection in here? You join one gang, well, Islam is another form of gang. So they join it. Yeah, Arki and all this shit, and they come out, act like they're all spiritual. You're not spiritual. If you was the only Muslim in there, you think you'd be a Muslim? If everyone in there was a Buddhist, man, they were going to whoop your ass, you'd be a Buddhist, man. Yeah, I see the ways of Buddha still, fam. I see it, fam. Yeah, fam. <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it? If they weren't in prison, you think they would have found a law? Them niggas would still be arrested. <laughs> Them niggas will still be praising Selassie, like, you know? <laughs> they go to prison, man, switch up the game. Come on, man, don't fool nobody. Intimidation factor. But we won't be intimidated by nobody. And we are the minority. That's what, why do you think when a Muslim comes up, the first thing they say is we're the fastest growing religion? That's, that's their foundation, numbers. We're not based on numbers out here, man. We're based on the word of the most high. Oh, quick go on. This is Philippians chapter two, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You gotta believe in this thing for yourself. You can't let the unbelief of the multitude sway you to not believe in what you know inside to be true. Turn you against your own power because he can't believe. And then, so what are you gonna believe after that? Evolution or some bullshit like that? Them guys. You quite questioning them guys on what they believe in. You see how quickly it falls apart? Because if you apply the same thing to them, you break down their whole belief system. Yeah, my friend told me. But we can't say we believe in holy angels because our holy forefathers recorded it. But he could believe in everything else in history because it, so it was recorded. But we can't believe in our history because it's recorded. This is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That's right, and he had a problem with that. But that's his beef. That's his beef. At the end of the day, that's why you're going to find out the most expensive and viable commodity on the face of this planet Earth is faith. Yeah, by the gram. By the gram faith, hey. A little tiny bit of faith, 
And even the Lord said, if you have as much faith as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. So that shows you a tiny little bit of faith goes a long way. It's like saffron. Super Sweet saffron. Garnish that shit. Yeah. That's it. A little bit of faith goes a long way. It's the most valuable commodity on the face of this planet Earth. Faith. And you can only get it one way. You can't buy it. You can't buy it and you can't dig it up. It's got to be given to you by the most high. This is Luke chapter 18 verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Hey, that, that faith is going to be in, to the minimum. To the minimum. Meaning the elect. Now in the kingdom of heaven, everyone's going to have faith. Everyone's going to believe in the Most High. Because it's already, his, his majesty has been established before the whole world. And we're going to be living representations to prove there's a Most High. Anyone that's stupid enough to believe there ain't a Most High when we're walking around glowing. Here it is, we're the sons of the Most High and we're walking around glowing. How are you not going to believe in the Father? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 15. Um, 16. Therefore, thus saith the, thus saith the Lord, Jehovah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right, we're going to be a minority compared to everyone else. Because there's a lot of people that just ain't going to believe, man. Even in your own family, man, your own friends. A lot of people just ain't going to believe, man, and it's just set up that way. But what really matters is your own belief. Only a remnant. So you get guys that get bugged out, but it's because it weren't for them anyway. Oh, they want to, they don't want to, uh, GMS, man, yeah, you know. They don't, want to, they don't want to deal with GMS, nah, nah. They want oh, this group bigger. They're joining a group that they think is bigger, more popular. Because that's the spirit of this world. This world deals with popularism. What's popular? Yeah, that, that was the spirit of Rome, the mob rules. Yeah? yeah. And the it's mob, nine times out of ten, the mob is going off. Um, Jeremiah 3 and 14. Turn, O oh backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And yeah, it mean, represents a small number, because we know there's going to be a multitude, but it represents a small number. So obviously, if there's only one in a city, then there ain't only, only one of us in London going to make it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's, it's showing you how small of a number it's going to be. It's gonna be small compared to the majority of people. But there's like billions of people on the planet. Um, it says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what we're set up to do, to feed our people with knowledge and understanding. But our knowledge and understanding, the foundation is it is in the scriptures, because it's just that just is the foundation of knowledge. It's not circular reasoning. This is a foundation that you build from. That's not circular. This is the foundation. It's the truth. You anything you build, you gotta build it on the truth. It's a foundation. Yeah, everything we do is based upon the Bible. If you don't want to believe the truth, that's your business. There's nothing circular about it. Go on. See man, that's why I can't wait for the kingdom. Because these little arguments are gonna be so stupid in the kingdom. Mm. No, every, people are gonna look back at this time like fuck. Really? That, this is going to be, like we told, this is going to be the dark ages of, the, of eternity. They say that the dark, no, this whole side of the, the world is the dark ages. People don't even eat right. Don't even get their diet right. But they got mobile phones and they fly into Mars, but they can't even get their diet right. Colon all messed up. But you fly into, you, surely you'd sort out your diet, learn how to, to you know? Man's gonna even live in peace, but he, <laughs> they wanna fly into the Mars. Priorities, man. That shows you there's a knowledge missing there. There's a wisdom that's not there, which is in the scriptures. It's Revelation chapter 6, verse 15. Now, these are these people. See, it's all good until the Lord do what he's gonna do. Then all these people that are unbelievers, they're gonna change their tune. We don't. And the kings of the earth 
on the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every freeman hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and, the, and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah. They, hey, it's good that they don't believe because when it actually happens, can you imagine how bugged out they're going to be? Hey, get me that in um, uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Yeah. Hey, he's like, ah, oh, flying angels. He's stone cold against them. The, uh, he would rather believe that aliens exist than angels. Same, how beautiful is it going to be when the Lord and his holy angels turn up? He's going to be choking on all kinds of fish bones. <laughs> You go have that choking on a chick, but oh, you know, he's gonna be all messed up in the spirit, like oh, they won't know where to go. Their spirit's gonna wanna go this way, that way, every way. They won't know what to do. It's so far above their minds what's gonna happen, man. But the Lord wants it to be like that. Hey, when you don't believe something and it happens, that brings you what that shock effect. When you know something's gonna happen, it's all the same. You brace yourself. When shit happens out of the blue, oh! someone jumps out of you in the middle of the night with a knife. Oh, 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 oh. Heart start racing. Wait, if you know he's coming out, you're like, yeah, this motherfucker's gonna jump out. In a minute, you ready, you know? When he jumps out, you're like, what, nigga? You know? You're already ready, like, man. But when you don't know, hey, it catches you, it messes up your spirit, you're all confused. Hey, get that hey, English scripture about they, they, they shall be confounded. Um, okay, go on. Um, first Corinthians. Okay. First Corinthians chapter two, verse um four. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. Um, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. But in the power of your heart, but I show you how it shine. Says, albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to know. Um, yeah, go on, break it down. Go on. I'll read it again. It says, albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. So we're not but everything we come, we come out with comes from the scriptures. We don't come with and try and validate what we're saying according to the wisdom of, of the Eastern society. The, 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 script, the very scriptures we're reading out of tells you that this man is a liar. So why would you go out there and believe anything that the devil, the devil's got to say? He's, he's got a proven track record of lying. Everything this damn devil has done in, his, in history, whether, whether it was when he went to the Native Americas and he gave them the peace treaties, or he came over, or, or he, when, he, when he came over to the West Coast, the very fact that Jake are out here bugged out, believing that the that, that group of themselves from Africa is down to the so-called white man. But these, these, you've got scoffers like that that will come up here and listen to anything Esau tells them and adhere to it straight away, like, yes, that's got to be the truth. That's the 100% truth. People will watch a movie and have more belief in that than the, sort of the Holy Scriptures because of the fact that men are in darkness, man, in this, in this modern world. Yeah, Esau come out with this crazy-ass image. One of the motherfuckers that Dr. Zayas, yeah, extinct former humans there's no proof of that shit but they'll believe it just they won't question it but they'll question the scriptures man tell with you but like i said they're getting set up you got something i got quick one you got all right and then after that give me wisdom of solomon uh, five yeah. 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 this is second Ezra 8 and 3 it says there be many created but few shall be saved that's right go on break it down well that like you know, brothers are going into there's the spirit of the Lord's only given to the elect on, at this time around, man. So the majority of people are just set up to, to die in this, in this society, man, in this world. But then there'd be few that are going to be saved, man. Lord willing, brothers doing the work, believing in the Lord, man. Because that, that, that's what this world promotes, man. All that, all them, you know, madness, man. You know what I mean? People believe in anything the Esau pushes out there, but anything the script, when you, when you, come out of the Bible, they want to always condemn the Bible. Like, mm. what? No, that's not true. Or, so what? Everything you believe is true, but they're saying, then leave us to have our belief and, and fuck off then, man. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. But then they still come though, you know, the guy still comes and that. You know, they always do that, man. So I'll just read it quickly. He said, 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 there be many created, but few shall be saved. And that's the point, man. So look at all these peoples out here. They're, they're just set up to die, man. They're just going to get blasted, man. With nuclear fire, man. And the Lord, Lord did that in 
in during the time with Noah, man. The Lord yeah. did that. The Lord already showed us, showed us that already, man. First yeah. death. Yeah, man. Hey, these people are gonna be messed up in it because what it is is that they have a foundation that they base their whole lives and their logic on. Just like that clown that came up earlier, he has a foundation, a premise, over an overarching premise that he bases his logic on. Like he already had an idea of what was righteous and what was wrong before he came up with it. So when he found out about the Most High, he applied his own foundation and his premise. It wasn't logic, his logic was based upon his own foundation. You understand what I'm saying? So he applied that and that's what these people do. They apply what's in them and then they call it logic. We apply these scriptures and we call it logic. But guess what? When the Lord comes back and these people see that, that's gonna undo, imagine that's gonna undo everything they, they have to now, in split seconds, rethink everything they've ever believed. You know that state that puts your mind in? You're gonna be com confused. You don't know what to do because usually your decision making is based upon core knowledge and a foundation. When that foundation is completely broken, you can't make a decision. Huh? Cognitive dissonance. Messed up. I call it messed up. <laughs> messed up in the spirit. Oh, oh, oh. Now they're going to be thinking they can't even finish a thought before the next thought. Oh, oh, oh. What if I, I must have been wrong about this. That, 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 that. Messed up in the spirit, man. Totally messed up. Confounded. And that's what the scriptures say. I got, uh, you got it? Wisdom 5. Wisdom of Solomon 5, and then you got after that, get you this. It's Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness yeah. before the face of such as have afflicted him. And that's what we're doing right now. See, it's prophecy. Oh, no, where's the proof? Well, we're living it. We are living proof. Us being out there on the streets, proof. How is it a bunch of ghetto-ass Negroes all of a sudden picking up the Bibles, learning words, learning history, and just raising themselves self up in wisdom or understanding just like that? Hey, it's got to be the Spirit. But they can't see that, man. Really, according to the ways of the flesh, you should be just like every other bugged out Negro out here. Because the whole, our environment is 99% geared towards us being like that. This is outside the box. What you see right now isn't from our environment. Because our environment wants us to be niggas. That's what we're taught from the minute you brought up everything about you. You know what I'm saying? Your role models, your dad, your uncle, your mother, everyone's off. So where is this coming from? The spirit. Um. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 But the most high have chosen the foolish the, as most high have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the most high have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised has the most high chosen yea and things which are not to bring to naught things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence yeah, we pop about nowhere, but here we is. We have the the most the, hey, the most valuable thing on earth, the way of life. We have the way to actually live on the earth. Something that these people don't have. They don't have it. I don't care if you're calling yourself a naturalist, a vegan. But them vegans think they're the most righteous people on the planet. <laughs> they think they got the way of life, like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them, you ever seen them vegans, man? Them, them guys think they're holy because they don't eat meat. No, you can eat meat, man. That don't make you unholy. <laughs> they turn that shit into a religion. Oh my God, he's eating animals. It's animal cruelty, it's abuse. Just shut up, man. The animals are placed there. There's clean animals that we could eat, man. All right, that's their purpose. It's like they come back in the reincarnation. That's true. All right? <laughs> we give them a good life while they're here, then we, you know? And then I'm done some lamb. You know? Yeah, some oxtail, you know? Yeah, yeah I'm steel. Some yeah, 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 I'm steel. Yeah. We're not too much in balance, you know? But but you know, people got all these like yoga and they got all these different things that they think they have the way of life, but no, ultimately that way they're living is not perfect, so it leads on to destruction. Already, uh, they were 
sound. Yeah. But this is the way of life that leads on to longevity and, and, and happiness. That ain't that what everyone's looking for? They wanna everybody wants to live good, right? As I said, yo man wanna feel live good star, you know? So they try and they think this avenue and that road and this path would lead to that way, but all many, what does it lead to? Death. Sorrow, mornings, unhappiness. Starts off good, then it goes south. The scriptures is the way, and that's gonna be established in the kingdom, man. It says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Yeah, Esau when don't consider our people, man. Esau just want us to be nothing, man. The only thing Esau would give us credit for is some entertainment in the modern day era. In the last 50 years, he'll give us some credit as footballers and basketballers. Imagine that, thousand years of history, and the only credit our people gonna get is they'll give credit to Michael Jordan. And but they'll still shit on them now and again. Yeah. You know, I mean, they'll give credit to Michael Jordan, you know. But we're more than that. We're way more than that. Go on. Yep. It says, when, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Terrible fear. The fear of the unknown. They're whole, they're gonna have to rethink everything. Imagine that chariots turn up. After all the hell that's broken loose, they're already gonna be in a state of fear. They're already not gonna have the answers because they're gonna go from this, where, you know, something might happen now and again, you know, someone jumps in front of a train, some car crash happens, oh my God. You know, but it's, you know, pretty mundane. They can still go out, go to Trafalgar Square, see the, you know, it's pretty calm. You know, there's nothing unexpected really now. But what we're about to go into is gonna be mayhem, madness. It's gonna go from zero to 100 fast. So they're already gonna be like, why is this happening? Oh my God, how did that? Martial law, where'd that come from? And then on top of that, chariots turn up? They ain't even gonna be looking for that. <laughs> you. Start beaming up Israelites. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? Oh, terrible fear. The type of fear that make you shit yourself. Confusion. What do I do next? Where do I run? They're going to try and hide himself on the rocks, all kind of stuff. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. It's going to be strange to them because like the guy said, oh, that's a myth. Oh, you don't actually believe in angels, do you? Oh, some invisible guy in the sky. Oh, these guys actually believe some guy is going to come and save them. Okay? So when it happens, they're going to be messed up, man. Especially these guys that spent their whole life believing there was no God. Oh, oh, oh! Is it too late? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy that got messed up. You mean, you can you imagine a million thoughts going through your head in a, a second? Complete confusion. <laughs> Second Ezra, um, 13 and 6. What would you hold up for me? I'll tell you. Second Ezra 13 and 6. But I, I beheld and lo, he had raised himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Um, but I would have seen the region or place wherewith the hill was graven and I could not. And after this I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered to subdue him were sore afraid. And yes, thus fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war, but only I saw that he sent out of, out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up every one. And they ain't gonna have no savior. Bruce Smith ain't gonna, ain't gonna pop out with it. That was a gay ass scene. If you, if you watch that particular scene, yeah, he was at the gay as hell. You know that scene with Bruce Smith at Independence Day? Punched the alien. Yeah? When he punched the alien, yeah, I don't know how much sugar he had in his tea that day, yeah? But if you watch that scene back here, there was nothing manly about 
they should have got Arnold Schwarzenegger or someone like that to do the scenes. Just step in and paint in blackface or something. Because he was fucked up that he was like, oh, he was all flailing. He went, man, he meant to beat up an alien and he was all acting like, you know what you know? Come on. But yeah, there ain't gonna be no Captain Marvel or, you know, Thor or no one like that in their movies. There's gonna be no one to deliver them. Will Smith, welcome to Earth, mother. No, nigga, welcome to the spirit world. That's it, boy. There you go, a one way ticket. Mm. So, I'm Isaiah 45, verse 15. Verily, thou art a God that hideth thyself, O, power, o God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They're going to be ashamed. Everyone that came against the Mosai are going to be ashamed, man. They're going to be feel, feel guilty, man. And they shall be confounded because they have all their belief systems. And in that one day, all their beliefs are going to be for naught. Because let me, tell, let me ask you this. Show me which book prophesies the destruction of America, the rest of the, the return of Yahweh Shai, and the restoration of the nation of Israel. We're the only ones teaching that. So everyone else, when it happens, well, they're going to be confounded. The Muslims are going to be all fucked up. They're going to be all messed up in the spirit. But they're expecting a whole different event. They're expecting guys to come down on white horses. One eye. One-eyed monsters and, <laughs> and all of a sudden chariots are turning up. They're gonna be like, yo, my imam never told me about this. <laughs> this is not in the hadith. This ain't on the this ain't in the scripts. <laughs> oh yes it is. You had the wrong script, my friend. That's right. You had the wrong script. They're gonna be messed up in the spirit, man. And in that day, that's gonna be the end of all other religions and philosophies. Because who's gonna be able to stand in that day? What are they gonna say? You can't say nothing. Their whole doctrine has been destroyed. What we said was going to happen according to the Bible, happened. So the Bible's right. What you said didn't happen. So you are wrong. Evidently, because now you're on a slave ship. I've got something. I've got something. <laughs> this is 2 Thessalonians 1. God, them vegans there, but I didn't eat meat. <laughs> 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7, it says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Lord and that obey not, his, not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction. Punished from with everlasting destruction, man. Hey, because America's going to be destroyed by the Lord when he comes, man. Got people out there talking about God bless America. Are you crazy, man? You might as well say, God bless Sodom and Gomorrah, man. That's one of the most filthy, disgusting places that kingdoms that's ever existed on the face of the planet Earth. Completely based upon murder, theft, lying, stealing, hypocrisy. Look at the influence on the rest of the world. As soon as anywhere becomes Americanized, the women become sluts, the men become effeminate and stupid. They're all fat and out of shape. They can't even take care of their own diets. God bless America, man. The most I gonna destroy that place, man. That's right. That place is a, a festering it's pool condemned. of wickedness, man. It's condemned. It's, condemned. it's, it's not the man. kingdom of heaven. Pray for America. Pray for America. You might as well pray for Satan. <laughs> it says, yeah, it, says who it says, who shall be punished? with an everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power when he shall come when he shall come to be glorified in his saints because that's what it takes that's what people respect at the end of the day power but when they don't see where the power's coming from they don't know who to respect and that's the problem with these people the scripture says his judgments are far above their sights. So the Lord does bring out his judgment every day, but because they don't see the most side physical hand doing it, they attribute it to Mother Nature or uh, a Just coincidence. Or like but when this happens, it ain't gonna be no coincidence. They're gonna have to recognize, oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Isaiah 45. That's a good thing.